another episode of The Follow-Up. I'm Eden, and this is my dad Noah, and every week for three years, we've been sitting in my bed and having a conversation about something we want to talk about. And this week, we're going to talk about homework. Yeah, so, <laughs> I think, I don't think you have a lot of homework. We don't, um, especially for fourth graders when we had more in third grade. It seemed like you did, but it's a topic that I've talked to my friends from where I grew up who are teachers and about what their homework is like, what they, what they assign, what is what's, their what's like? worthwhile. They, they try to make it where it's not just busy work. It's reinforcing the things that you're learning in school and making sure that, um, that you can become masters of a, masters of a subject and then, you know, where they can challenge certain students in certain areas. So I don't think it's just like everybody gets the same all the time, mm. which is, which I think is, which I think is nice. Yeah. So let's go through right now. What, what, what's your, what's your homework every day right now? So we have three math problems. No, four. But sometimes they'll be, yeah, about four months. Yeah, yeah, about four, yeah. Then we have to read for at least 40 minutes. And we have to jot something down about our characters or what we've learned. Okay. So, and for your math, you have a, it's almost like a menu. Yeah. That you get on Monday. And everybody gets the same thing. Right. So theoretically, you could just do all your homework on Monday. I mean, you, right. But I'm saying you could because it's not like. It's what we learn in school that day. Really? It's not like, oh. Because <laughs> it all seems like it's all under the same. It like, is because that's what, yeah because that's what we're learning in the in, right. In the I'm unit. So it's based off what we've learned for like the week in that day. Right. Exa- exactly. But not like if you looked at your Thursday homework last week on Monday, you wouldn't say, "Oh, I don't know. I don't, we haven't learned that yet." Well, right? I would know what it was. Yeah. But we haven't learned that in school exactly yet. Oh really? Okay. All right. Well, I'm. I'm Okay, I'm right. So I'm mistaken. Them, yeah. Okay, and then and then you're and then you're reading. Last year yeah. you had reading, writing. You had a writing prompt, which I really liked. So you so you write. You would write every day, and then and also a few and also a few math problems. Yeah. What what is when you um, when you get your home when you do your homework. And math, it's not it, it's not overly challenging. But what are, so what are you focused on with your math, or what are the things that we sh- that, that mom and I stress to you in doing math? So keeping everything organized, and also like if I'm just writing like a target sentence or like a sentence after like and more likes, that's a focus. Yes, that's not is. saying like, but blank has blank something. Susie has something cookies or like okay. something, making sure that my handwriting's neat and I'm not racing through that, that I'm like making sure everything's neat and organized. Mm-hmm. So it's organization. And when you're writing, you have to take enough pride in your writing there as yeah. you would if you're writing a story. Because also, in your writing, when you, when you write your, if you're, you have to write the sentence out of your equation. Yeah. There have been a few times where you've just simply written a completely different number <laughs> than yes. what was the actual answer. Right. Like you just you you just try to you just do it too fast. And we've talked about this before. And not um, making like careless mistakes. Right. And that's what I did so much of as a kid. And so trying to and, make sure that, yeah. that you can learn from, from my mistakes and how bad that feels when oh wait a second. This was just, uh, of course I know this answer. I was yeah, rushing. Like, what was the like, point of rushing also, through Also, like, on the math menu, my eyes sometimes, like, if there's two questions and it's, like, addition problems and they're a big bomb, I also, my eyes will wander to the next question and mm-hmm. take a number from it. Right. And yeah. that's annoying when you figure that out. Exactly. So it's just, a, it's really a matter of staying focused. Yeah. So then when you're reading at night, and so you usually do your math, your, whatever your homework is, you know, you do your math earlier. Yeah. You know, depending on your after school activities. And then oftentimes it's reading it oftentimes it's reading at night. In my bed. In your bed or, or right on a beanbag yeah. chair and on your floor. Right. 
which are now like rolling in like it's a boulder. <laughs> and it's worth it. Good birthday present though. Yeah. yeah. And so, wait. So this is wait. By the way, this is your the first podcast of you being nine years old. Yeah. Yeah. It looks different. <laughs> you make those earrings yourself. I did. <laughs> and you put them in yourself and everything. Uh huh. Look at you. <laughs> so grown up. So as you're as you're reading what and you have to jot down certain things so as you're reading are you thinking oh should i jot this should i jot yes. this should i jot this how does that how does that process like, work it's also just thinking about okay so as i'm reading i'm thinking about oh this character oh this oh i know this about this character this evidence proves to this or hmm this person seems to work better with these people, or this might be a problem because of this, or okay. the lesson of this story is, in this part of the story, this shows teamwork when blank. Okay, so and and these prompts are example of things that your teacher has said. Hey, when you jot, think about these things. I just. <laughs> Like, came up with a few things there, just, like, that I think about. Mm -hmm. But our teacher attached, stink bold, precise, a piece of paper in the back of, of our notebook to mm -hmm. tell us what to, that we can jot about. Okay, So, That's it's, awesome. like, solution, problem, character, trait, character, feeling, character, change. A lot of character stuff, but, like, I guess, like, hints like, to the problem. Okay. Um, all that type of stuff. When you do reading Story then, mounted. so math matches up to what you're doing in school. When you do reading at home with jotting, what are you doing? What What are you doing in reading in school? Um, at school, all different things. We're learning different ways, like when we read, what we can think about to make our jot stronger, adding evidence to back things up. But we're not supposed to, for. Reading, we have the choice of what, how we want to jot, what we want to jot about. So in school, though, when you're reading, you have, you have we time, have to jot. You have reading time in school where you just sit there and read. Yeah, we have about twenty minutes. Oh, okay. So you have a reading period, and then and you're jotting during that time also. Yeah, you have to jot. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think we ever had just sit down and read in what, school. What did Except you have? at the end of the day, we had a thing called sustained silent reading. Oh. Yeah, and I talked about that in the, the Ramona Quimby book. Oh, really? I was reading recently, yeah. So, but at the end of the day, we that was the last 15 minutes of school. Ah. So we could, you were packed up and everything, and then you had to say, you had SSR, so you just had to be quiet and read. So, but you could read anything. It didn't, it didn't matter. You just either brought a book, grabbed a book, a magazine, a joke book, anything. You could do anything. <laughs> um, but I don't joke think, book's fun. but then I don't, we would have reading comprehension things during the day. What do you and maybe for homework, like we, we would have passages, passage? or or yeah. we would be sent home and like we had a book to read from school, and then you had to write a book report Honestly, about I, it. If you read a passage and you have to do those reading comprehension questions, I like when it's verbal. I just can't stand writing down the answers. Well, like, I always thought that it helps, but like I always thought that my well, really reading hard. comprehension was always the thing I struggled with the most, and I would oftentimes get lost in the way that some of those questions were worded and yeah. then again probably didn't take my time but we would get sent home with books and we'd have to write book reports so that seems fun sometimes depending well, on the book true depending on it's, the book i feel like it probably i don't know if you agree with me because i haven't written a book report really but it's really hard to write a book report if you didn't like the book yes agreed <laughs> Agreed. Like, you can't write a book report saying, this book is horrible, you should not read it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you would write maybe what you didn't like about it, or maybe, or you know, you could write your opinion, but you'd also have to write facts about it. Yeah. yeah. So what about your other friends, not in your school, what is, what's homework like? So, some of my friends have a huge binder of homework that they go home with, and it's a lot of stuff, because mm -hmm. like some of them go around school two different classrooms and have English, math, science, all different other things that I don't have. Well, you have science twice a week. Yes, but they have, like, sci they have a lot of other things, and it's, like, two English periods a day, one uh, math period, where okay. they go around school. Okay. Um, 
some of my friends don't have homework at all. Mm -hmm. And a bunch of people, I feel like that's a huge topic. Having homework, should you have homework or should you not have homework? I honestly think you should. Like, it's nice when you don't have days where you have homework, you can just relax. Mm -hmm. But homework is something that you can use to help you and it's it's important to study and like really recognize that you are remembering. Sure, right. It's it's carrying over good habits from the classroom to home, yeah. I think. And also you have to read a certain number of minutes every night. You've always been a, a you know a high stamina reader, but this builds reading stamina. Yeah. And, and it forces you to take the time to shut out everything else and and read. And I also think it does I also do think that it forces a child to learn a little bit more about time management of, okay, well, I've got these things after school, got to get my homework done, and I need to organize my desk in order to, to do it this way, or wherever you are doing your homework, okay, I've got to get this done and this done and this done by this time, okay, how is it going to, how long is it going to take me to do this? I think that kind of stuff is important, no matter what the actual work and is. And like time management a lot. Yeah, it's, it's it's helpful. And, like, the good thing is that you can make up your homework before the end of the week, but I, I, I want to not have to make it. No, you don't want to do that. Because what's the point? Like, if I like only read, like, 30 minutes one night, I can, like, read 10 more minutes. Well, yeah. But it's annoying. Yeah, right. You might as well just get it done. Yeah. If you can, you just get it done. There might be an exception every once in a while, but there's, there's no real reason to no. do that. No. But you have... You don't have science homework or social studies homework things like that you don't have textbooks <laughs> the words it's, it's funny to think about it like having this whole textbook in front of me yeah <laughs> that I'm to do homework. Mm -hmm. but yeah we don't have any of that i would say we have limited homework i would agree yeah which i like but also like i don't and I don't think anybody else does, wishes for more homework. No. Nah. But, like, I honestly, this year, was surprised on the amount of homework we had. That you didn't have as much. No. Nah. As last year. Either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but, yeah, but I think more is expected of you in the classroom this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When when I was a kid. And that homework gets, like, checked every day. Yeah, which is good. What was it like for you? When I was a kid, we had... So in fourth grade, we, we had a science textbook. We had a social studies textbook. So we had passages to read and things to write and definitions to of, and words to know. And we would have science. Have, we'd like, have science quizzes words? and math. Yeah, absolutely. Where you have to, like, there would be boards on, like, like, I don't know, like, on, like. You got, whoa, 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 whoa. You just said, like, <laughs> five times there. Just, um, just slow yourself, slow yourself down. Think about what you want to say and then say it. Um, and sit up. Something... Like a board that you like a like, vocabulary board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would have. Did you we have, have to vocabulary study words? Sure. Or words. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, we'd have we vocabulary had, we words. Would have and, the, like the not phonics, but what was that called? Like it was a word test. Where you have like five words and you have to write them. Yeah, okay. you'd have word study, wordly wise. Yeah, that's not it. Where you would have to like at the end, where it was like kindergarten, mm -hmm. you'd have to like write the yeah. words. Yeah, but you now have wordly wise, which is. Vocabulary, and, which is great. Yeah. So, and then it's about a matter of, okay, so now you get these vocabulary words or you're doing all this reading and then putting it into your own writing and then your own use of words as you're speaking. Yeah. So as you're writing even thank you notes or as you're having a conversation with somebody, you are now using what you've learned and thinking, oh, when I hear this word, like, where could I, where could I use, where could I use that yeah, like in some of your writing? Yeah, like in like, um... One of those books that we were reading, mm -hmm. and I and you encouraged me to use it in something I was writing at school the next exactly, day. Exactly, because something you told me about one of your writing assignments, there was a word in this book that was a perfect substitution and would up your vocabulary from the other stuff. So just like anything else, as long as you're carrying things over into every day and trying really hard to carry things over into every day, then that's that's what matters. Yeah, okay. All right. I love you. Love you.